Hi guys, Piotr here, this is Life Finance Global YouTube channel and it's my pleasure to be with you again today. Well, what we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss uh, the possibilities to detect the trends, to detect the new developing trend and stuff like this, especially when it comes to the crypto market. Here, in my opinion, some, um, well, known indicators are working very very well of course if you do remember i'm trying to do my trades uh, based only on the pure price action uh, but never ever i said that if you do prefer to use some kind of the indicator especially if you do understand what you are doing that you cannot use the indicators as an additional filter, right? So again, do your own homework, uh, do your own research before you are going to jump straight into the market uh, with your full amount of the money. So whatever, how I'm detecting the trend uh, is the thing that if we are making the higher highs and higher lows, then we do know that we are within the rising trend, right? And if you see or if you can detect higher lows and lo uh, lower lows and lower highs, then we do know that we are about to change the trend and we are trading uh, within the downtrend all right in both cases the same in crypto the same in fx there is a very important thing i would say it's some kind of the secret all right well if you do remember if you do know one two three strategy right when you have the point number one okay then you have a pullback as a point number two and trend is developing after the break of the top of the point one right and uh, very often that's uh, been called as a stop buy strategy with the stop below point number two and you are going uh, higher the secret here for you to understand is going to be the very good filter as well because what I've noticed and I did really really plenty of examples of that right it's not going to work your way if you are going to use blindly one two three strategy right then you are going to be uh, out of the market very very quickly and i'm going to explain you in that example all right so please bear with me here what i'm talking about well the thing is that you have to have quite good risk reward ratio all right so one thing is that you detect the trend you've seen the higher highs you've seen the higher lows or in opposite you see lower highs and lower lows right so you clearly detected the trend uptrend or downtrend all right boom nice now based on the pure pure price action what i've noticed already is that the point the pullback the low over here especially if you are deciding to trade the break with the stop below it's not going to work your way as you wish well what i mean because it's a very well known strategy the market makers may want to take out these particular stops so what i'm looking for is i'm not jumping straight 
on that break to the upside here, all right? I'm waiting for the stop hunt over here, like this one, with the quick reversal. Then my stop is very, very close to the entry and my risk reward ratio suddenly is much bigger than even some may think, all right? So then I'm not buying the breakout. I'm not buying the breakout. I'm waiting for the price to hit the stops over here, all right? With quick reversal and I'm buying this move back above this support line with the stop below that particular low. The same when it comes to the shorting in the market. And it's really, really working very, very well when it comes to both crypto and FX market. If you are a patient, you are going to trade less, but you can gain much, much more. All right. What's the different way to try to detect the trend and try to work with the trend. Of course, 200 daily moving average, this line over here, right? This is a good one. If we are going higher, we are within the rising trend. If the slope is going lower over here, maybe not slope, if the uh, 200 daily moving average is going lower, then we are within the downtrend and it's working perfectly fine. You have to bear in mind it's lagging, not leading, right? So you probably wouldn't go the short here because at that point we were like flatting or rising still, but you were able to try to join the party with this swing high over here all right and then again probably probably because it's uh, lagging again that's why i'm not using indicators you are able to join the party to the upside from here that's the daily chart but i've got quite good news for the day traders if you are trying to spot the trend then also the 200 moving average not daily overall 200 moving average is working quite well either when we are talking about the uh, one hour chart or even shorter time frame that's what you have here here that was the flat right but once we broke higher you were able to try to trade in this way but of course being cautious because of this big head and shoulders coming all right and then again here so overall going lower with 200 moving average could be very useful you can add additional filters like 100 moving average uh, 50 or 21 moving average as well you can also add some other filters well what i'm talking about let's have a look let's when we are talking about the trend indicators let's try to add ichimoku all right and let's get back to the daily chart all right in that case ichimoku used to work perfectly fine uh, showing you the possible attempt to go uh, higher even with the quiet long distance between the low and the 200 daily moving average, but that was your cloud over here, all right? And again here, and again here, okay? When you are trying to go short, you've had your 200 and you had the cloud. So that's another way how you can try to filter and detect the trend, even trying to detect upcoming trend change okay the next one i would like to discuss with you and the one 
I've been using in the past quite frequently is MACD. In that case, you are trying to take the advantage, okay, of the zero line as well as the divergences, all right? That's something very, very uh, important. Well, so let's try to spot a few uh, quite interesting entries. Like here, okay. When we do have diver clear divergence, okay without making new lower low uh, over here, okay? And then, again, you have your move when it comes to the zero line and when it comes to 200 daily moving average with the retest, you've got your entry over here. So, with that being said, there are plenty of different ways to try to detect the trend. I would say you should start with the basic. Higher highs, higher lows, that's your long trend detection. Lower highs, lower lows, that's your downtrend detection. That's your basic. Then you can add additional filters and in both cases, crypto and FX is going to work very well. Don't forget about the hint when it comes to one, two, three strategy where you wanna buy. That's not your buying entry. Here with the quick retest and move up above, that's your buying. And at the same time, when market is moving lower, that's your sell entry with very tight stop. With that being said, re um, uh, risk reward ratio is in your favor. I wish you great next trading day. See you around, take care and goodbye.